Texas Congressman Keith Self. Congressman, great to have you on this morning. So how confident should the American people be in Tom Homan and the fact that our country will be more secure under another Trump presidency? What a breath of fresh air Tom Homan is. And I think they ought to be very confident because, frankly, federal law is on his side. It is a felony to harbor illegals. And he's made that very clear. He's made it very clear that mass deportations are going to happen. Uh, we'll see who he starts with. Uh, I would recommend the convicted murderers, the convicted criminals. But I have no doubt that he's going to be true to his word. So I know the president-elect Donald Trump has vowed to sign multiple executive orders on day one, one of them, of course, to close the border and to effectively stop the flow of illegal migrants that are coming into this country. That's what people voted for on November 5th. What are you seeing in Texas right now, especially in the last three and a half years under this administration with wide open borders? Well, uh, there were 94 executive orders that uh, uh, Biden overturned that dealt with the border. So we've got to understand Biden already overturned when he took office, yeah. 94. So President Trump needs to reinstall those. Hey, look, Texas has been on our own for almost uh, four years now. Since March of 2021, uh, uh, Operation Lone Star has been going, and Texas has been basically on our own trying to secure the Texas border with no federal help. So this is a very welcome change to Texans. And frankly, the entire nation, as you say, the two big issues were the economy and the border. Uh, so this is a huge issue. And I know that uh, the citizens across America, and certainly in Texas, are going to be looking very carefully to see if uh, Tom Holman is good to his word and Trump backs him up. And uh, it happens. The mass deportations must happen. What do you make of the 25 percent tariffs on goods coming from Mexico and Canada in regards to this border crisis as well? Does that work? Uh, yeah, I think it can work. Uh, look, 29% uh, of, of Mexico's GDP comes from the United States. Uh, Mexico, to us, is very small, very small percentage of our GDP. So they have a lot more at stake in these tariffs. So I think, uh, I think you will see them react very quickly uh, to uh, President Trump uh, getting into office and making sure that uh, and if he does put these 25% tariffs on, things will happen quickly. And they have more at stake than we do. Yeah, absolutely, Congressman. And I know yesterday the Texas Land Commissioner said that the state purchased 1,400-acre ranch along the Rio Grande, which officials identify as a hot spot for human trafficking as well as drug smuggling that's been going on these past four years. They're taking full steps now to fulfill the promise of continuing constructing, constructing the wall there along Texas and all the way to Arizona as well. Do you think all of this gets done during Trump's presidency? Yeah, when you look at the total cost of it, we used to say $5 billion for the whole wall across Texas, mm -hmm. uh, and we've spent how many billions on the illegal immigrants? Uh, yeah, it can get done. It can get done easily. We simply re reallocate the dollars, and President Trump, I think, can do that. Uh, if not, Congress will certainly support him because our people want it. Uh, so, yeah, I think it can d get done. There are places in Texas, though, that are so rough we don't really need a wall. Yeah. People can't cross in the roughest uh, places. So don't think we're going to put a wall in every inch across the southern border. Simply not needed. We do need to put it where there are easily where the border is easily crossed. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Congressman Keith Self, uh, happy Thanksgiving to you. Thank you so much. Happy for Thanksgiving. Me today. Information. Truth is freedom. Is Newsmax. It's real news for real people.